this is Julie from Julie's Lifestyle. Welcome to my kitchen. Are you looking for a breakfast recipe that is quick, easy, nutritious and full of flavour? Then you need to try this chia berry parfait with crunchy cinnamon granola. I usually use almond milk and cinnamon for my chia pudding, but today we are going to be using fresh walnut milk and cardamom. Now, walnuts are packed with healthy omega-3 fats and minerals such as copper, magnesium and phosphorus, which are all essential for strong bones, for your teeth and to keep your blood sugar levels stable. So let's have a look at the ingredients we will be using today. To prepare our chia pudding, we will need chia seeds, obviously, some walnut milk or any other non-dairy milk of your choice, just make sure that it's unsweetened, some maple syrup, some pure vanilla extract, some cinnamon, cardamom and sea salt. And to assemble our berry parfait we will need some frozen berries. Here I've got a mix of strawberries, raspberries, black and red currants, some fresh banana, some crunchy cinnamon granola. This is by our own homemade brand called All Good but you could choose any granola you like and some fresh blueberries to put on top. Okay, so the only equipment we will be using today is our Vitamix blender, but even this is optional. You could just mix your walnut milk with your flavorings in a mixing bowl as well, but this is going to save you some time. So all you need to do to create your sweet cardamom walnut milk is combine all of your ingredients into your blender and blend until smooth. It's as simple as that. Mm, you can really smell the cardamom. Alright, so let's put our milk aside. Now, the first thing I like to do is just pour the chia seeds into a mixing bowl. And then, pour our milk on top. This makes it really easy to mix everything in and to avoid clumps of chia seeds in your chia pudding. There we go. Okay, so now just stir it in to make sure that there aren't any clumps of chia seeds left. And you will see that the chia seeds will immediately absorb all the creamy milk. And you can really smell the cardamom. And cardamom is a really powerful healing spice. It can even fight free radicals, which is great for younger looking skin. Okay, so this looks perfect. Okay, so now all we need to do is pop this chia pudding in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes so that the chia seeds can absorb all that creamy walnut milk. But if you like your chia pudding super creamy like I do, just put it in the refrigerator overnight and it will be ready the next morning. Okay, so our chia pudding is all set and ready. Now let's assemble our parfait. I'm just going to show you one example. First, I like to pour in some of the chia pudding, which is super creamy. Now let's take some of our berries to put on top. These are quite sour. Now another layer of chia pudding goes on top. There we go. Some banana, some extra berries. And now I'm going to sprinkle on some of our all good crunchy granola. I love the texture of it, nice and crunchy. There we go. Okay, so now let's just add some fresh blueberries for garnish and for flavor. These are nice and sweet. There we go. Maybe two more. These are my favorite berries. And now it's time for a taste test. I'm ready to dive in. Mm. This chia berry parfait with the granola is creamy, it's refreshing, it's sweet and sour all at the same time. Just perfect. So I hope you like this recipe video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and Instagram. I would also love to find out what you think of this chia berry parfait with crunchy cinnamon granola. 
So please leave a comment down below or go to julieslifestyle.com slash blog and leave a comment there. And if you are looking for even more free recipes like this one, please go to julieslifestyle.com, subscribe to the mailing list and you will get your personal copy of my free raw recipe ebook called Julie's Top 7 Fast, Easy and Delicious Raw Smoothies and Shakes. So thanks again for watching, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!